When you come in for a consultation, uh, we're going to evaluate the eyes and determine what's going to be best for you and what you what your needs and desires are as far as as far as eyeglass usage, etc. Bottom line is the more freedom you want from glasses, the fancier the lens implants get. Uh, we now have tremendous lens implants called presbyopic correcting lenses that allow us to have a full range of vision. Uh, one of the most common ones that we use is the multifocal lens. In the multifocal implant, this is a technus multifocal. Uh, these have small little trifocal circles built into the lens implant themselves. Uh, these little circles split the light for you into distance, intermediate, and near so the patient gets all three ranges of vision in both eyes. So with this, we're able to turn back the clock and have full range of vision. In fact, most people are free of all glasses about 85% of the time with these lens implants, which is the most dramatic that we've ever seen. Uh, typically, if a patient needs some glasses, it may be for poor lighting conditions or ridiculously small print, but in general, you're going to have tremendous freedom from glasses. The, these implants have a small side effect because of the circles built into them. You see a little bit of halo around car lights at night that lasts for the first 90 days and then tends to dissipate after that. Um, so these are a great option for patients who really want that full range of vision. We have another option that we utilize for some patients uh, also for full range of vision called the crystal lens. And this is very different. This, has a, this is an implant that has a single vision optic that's very high quality aspheric optic, but it has hinges built into the lens that allow it to flex and move inside the eye. Uh, this mimics what the younger human lens could do. As we age, the lens stiffens over time, and that's really what presbyopia is. So we can kind of turn back the clock a little bit again and give some youth back to the lens. So for distance vision, we're flexed backwards, and then as your muscles push on the lens, it flexes forward to allow you to have a range of vision with some near vision as well.